Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Text Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about knit fabric structure analysis of a one by one rib fabric. Before we start our analysis, let's understand some basic features of a rib fabric. Actually, the rib machine contains two beds, two needle beds. One we call it a cylinder bed, another one is called dial bed. The bed which is vertical that is called as cylinder bed the bed which is horizontal that we call it as dial actually since there is two beds so there will be two sets of needle thus the needles which is placed in the cylinder bed that is called as cylinder needles and the needles which is placed in the dial bed that we call it as a dial needle since there is two sets of needles there will be two sets of camps required to activate the needles on top of that we need to understand one more terminology called gating there are two types of gating one is rib gating another one is interlock gating in rib gating the face loop the loop which is made by the cylinder and the back loop the loop which is made by dial will not face each other whereas in interlock gating the face loop and back loop will be placing face to face. These two, these two terminologies is very very important to understand whether that particular fabric quality is knitted using a rib machine or an interlock machine. If the face and back loop are not facing each other, which means it is a rib fabric. The particular fabric quality is knitted using a rib machine. If the face and back loop are facing each other, then that particular fabric quality is manufactured using an interlock machine. Let me show you an image in the the image which explains the rib gating and interlock gating in a better way this is the actual image of a rib and the interlock machine interlock fabric in this image you can you could be able to see the face loop and back loop are not facing each other the back loop is placed in between two face loops whereas in interlock gating you could see you could able to see the face loop and the back loop are facing each other so this is how the fabric will will look like so before start your analysis you have to cross check whether the particular fabric quality is knitted using rib gating or interlock gating these two things needs to be cross checked before start analysis of a, any rib or interlock fabric so let's start our analysis as usual we need to follow our thumb rule we need to remove all the loose and threads and we need to draw a line so that your analysis will be a perfect one now i'm going to start the analysis now i'm going to unravel the course number one after the back loop and front loop back front the yarn is getting traveled from back to front front to back from it is like a zigzag the yarn, the yarn is traveling like this the the dial the dial side let us take this uh, the back as a dial side and the front as the cylinder side so the yarn is getting from the getting travel from dial to cylinder again cylinder to dial dial to cylinder cylinder to dial dial to cylinder cylinder to dial this is how the yarn is getting traveled so now we need to mark this actually since there are two sets of needles is getting involved here it's a very simple and easy to understand methodology for marking the loop a cylinder since it is getting traveled from cylinder to dial dial to cylinder dial cylinder to dial dial to cylinder so just if you mark the yarn flow yarn flow from cylinder dial dial to cylinder it will be very easy to understand and very easy to keep up in the memory as well so now we are going to unravel the course number two after that marking the yarn again the yarn is getting traveled in the zigzag 
manner from cylinder dial dial cylinder you could able to see the yarn is getting traveled from dial to cylinder again cylinder to dial dial to cylinder again cylinder to dial again dial to cylinder this is getting repeated so in the same way how we marked the course number two the same way again that it is get it is it is marked from cylinder dial dial cylinder cylinder dial dial cylinder just just if you want your knitter to knit this fabric just if you mention as one by one rib or if you mark with this type of notations it will be easy for everyone to understand i hope this video is very useful and informative thanks for thanks for watching see you all in the next video till then bye from your money text guru bye bye